In this video, I will be explaining a named theorem that is Harare theorem. So, let's read the statement that graph H m comma n is m connected. So, here, what is mean by this H m comma n? I will tell you what is mean by this. So, H m comma n means here they are representing uh, a graph with this. Okay, so it means. Uh, there is a graph and that graph is this m denotes that graph is m connected and this n denotes the graph the particular graph contains n number of vertices total number of vertices in that graph is n okay so here i will tell you what is mean by this m denotes m connected i will tell you what is mean by m connected okay so imagine a graph in that graph, if you are removing m number of vertices, the graph will be disconnected. Then you can say that graph is m connected. Okay, I will tell you again with another example. If you want to say a graph is two connected, so what 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 the graph should do? The graph, if uh, you are removing two number of vertices from the graph, that graph should be disconnected when you remove two vertices from that graph. Then you can say that graph is two connected. I hope you understand the concept. Okay. So here the graph m comma n is m connected. That is what we have to prove. So let's pass on to the proof. So here uh, you are proving this theorem by two cases that is first you are taking m is equal to 2r that is the connected that m number of connected is an even number okay that is what the case one and in the case two you will say that uh, m connected graph is that m connected is even number of vertices sorry odd number of vertices okay so here you are saying that m connected that m is even in short you can say that m is even so here you are saying that m is odd okay i hope you understand these are the two cases so first let's see the case one so here we shall show that h2r comma n has no vertex cut of fewer than 2r vertices so what you want to say what you want to prove here in a, consider in the place of m you are putting h2r okay sorry h2r comma n okay in the place of m you are putting 2r in case 1 so here we shall show that h2r now in the place of m you, are, you have substituted 2r right okay h2r comma n has no vertex cut of fewer than 2r vertices it means if you uh, remove vertices that is less than 2r then the graph is not going to disconnect okay you could not say uh there is a vertex cut okay can you understand that is from the graph if you remove vertices that is less than 2r then the graph is not going to disconnect so there is no 2r connected okay so here read the sentence again and try to understand uh, we shall show that h2r command has no vertex cut when there is no vertex cut, if you are removing fewer than 2R vertices, it means you are removing less than 2R vertices, then the graph is not going to disconnect. Okay, so that is what we have to prove here. Okay, so if possible, let B dash be the vertex cut with modulus of B dash less than 2R. It means it denotes number of vertices in the set V dash. Okay. That is you are saying. You are going to prove this with contradiction. Okay. So here you are saying. If possible. V dash is a vertex cut. In this V dash. In this V dash. There are collection of vertices. Okay. You are saying. In this V dash. There is less than 2 R uh, vertices. And you are saying that. Even if you are taking less than 2 R vertices. The graph will be disconnect. That is what you are assuming and at the end you will bring the contradiction no if how you bring the contradiction at last you will say if we remove less than 2r vertices then the graph is not going to disconnect okay okay let's move on to the next line let i and 
here you are saying this b dash having less than two r vertices is a vertex cut right it means we are saying that we are removing two r vertices less than two r vertices and the graph is disconnecting that is why the disconnected graph will have more than one component right so that is why here i and j be the vertices belonging to different components of h 2 r comma n minus v dash it means from this graph you have removed this number of vertices okay when you remove like that then there are vertices i and j belonging to different components they are in the different components now consider two vertices now imagine you are having two components right so these are the uh, set of vertices in one component and these are the set of vertices in another component okay so s is equal to this and this t is equal to this where addition is taken modulo n okay since okay i don't know what they are mean by this okay i have no proper understanding on this sentence okay since mod v dash less than 2 r in the uh, in the second line you have assumed like that right so that is what you are rewriting here mod v dash less than 2 r we may assume without loss of generality again you are assuming when you take modulus of v dash intersection is that will be less than r that is how you are assuming okay what is mean by this modulus 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 here modulus of this means the number of vertices in b dash okay that is what mean mean by this so here you are assuming uh, you have this okay and again you are assuming when you find uh, v dash intersection yes the number of vertices in b dash intersection yes will be less than r okay that is how you are assuming now if you do that what will happen is then there is a sequence of distinct vertices in s yes difference v dash that means uh, you are finding s yes difference v dash what is mean by s yes difference v dash from the set of vertices yes okay you are subtracting v dash vertices s yes difference me v dash means that is what the meaning right from yes you are subtracting v dash vertices so that you get a sequence that seek distinct uh, vertices okay sequence of distinct vertices and that sequence starts with i and ends with j okay and is such that the difference between and from the sequence when you find the difference between any two consecutive terms you will get the answer that answer will be at most r it means what at most r means you don't get more than r as an answer okay uh, um, either okay i will tell you either uh, you will get r or less than r okay you don't get um, greater than r okay that is what mean by this but such a sequence if uh, if you get this kind of sequence then what will happen is there will be an ij path in this graph okay ij path in this graph in in the um, in the um, first step or in the third line i will show you here okay you are saying this graph is uh, splitted into components okay i and j belonging to different components of this but here at the end you are saying there is an i j path in h2 r comma n minus v dash is it possible to have a path between two components no right between two components there will be no path okay but at the end you are having there is a path so here you are getting a contradiction which is contradiction hence two are comma n is two are connected it means what uh, from this graph only if you remove two are vertices the graph will be disconnected then you can say uh, that particular graph as two are connected okay i hope you understand now uh, here you have case two case two you are saying that m connect that m is odd okay that m is odd so here 
case two is very easy if you uh, learned case one then case two is very easy that is in the place of uh, two or just put two r plus one and write okay so here okay in the place of two r put two r plus one here put two r plus one here to put two r plus one here put two r plus one okay here put two r plus one okay all other steps will be similar to the uh, case one okay here put 2r plus 1 okay here put 2r plus 1 here put 2r plus 1 okay thank you